Hi Box Buddies, this is Jeannie with Batman's Boxes. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing for you a five to nine year old girl and this is a babysitter's club theme. And the box closes, I just um, didn't want to take the rubber band back off. So let's get started and see what's inside. And the first thing she will see when she opens her box is this. And right on top, I have a Thai um, beanie baby, and this is a worm. And you'll see why in a little while, why I chose a worm. And she, on top, she has her pencil pack, and I gave her a giant rainbow eraser and some markers and scissors and um, I did give her this cute sharpener which is a little car oh and she also has this um, just a fun uh, candy pencil that says classroom leader I also gave her this rainbow um, poppet. This is really cute. Very colorful. And in here she has two uh, fingerling um, bracelets that she can put together with a friend. also gave her this watch band bracelet and it lights up I think those may have been either after Valentine's Day or after Easter she has a crayon pack she has her water bottle and inside her water bottle I gave her oh some hair ties. I gave her a cross necklace. She has two toothbrushes. And I think I mentioned it before, I usually include two toothbrushes for the five to nine. Because um, if a five year old gets it, I can use a smaller one and save the larger one. I gave her a purple whistle. She has in here uh, two Hello Kitty um, lip balm that I probably will not purchase again. This came in a five pack. Those caps do not stay on very well. So I, I really had to tie it, um, wrap it up really well in the plastic bag so, you know, it wouldn't leak. She also has a set of utensils. I gave her one of these um, um, sponge paint brushes um, for the chalk and chalkboard I have in the bottom of the box. You can those work well for erasers to erase the chalk on the chalkboard. She has a lip whistle. I also gave her this shirt. Uh, I think I got this last year at Walmart for, I don't know, a dollar or something. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it says positive influencers. And to go with her shirt, I gave her a pair of leggings. These were also came from Walmart and they were just plain. So I, um, ironed on a little butterfly patch that I got from Dollar Tree a while back, um, just on the leg. She 
She also has a pair of flip-flops and I just recently got these at Walgreens. I think these were 68, 69 cents. She has a hygiene kit. And I gave her this pretty bandana. I think I uh, purchased one of these before and put it in one of my earlier boxes, but it's just so pretty and so colorful. And then I found this mask um, at Hobby Lobby on clearance. So I thought it was a very colorful addition. She has two pair of socks. Two pair of undies. And a, she has a comb. Okay, I have to keep moving stuff around because I have some things that I want to show you. Um, I found these about a month ago at the Dollar Tree. Um, and these are, uh, I guess it's for the smaller dolls, the little Chelsea dolls or, or the Dollar Tree dolls um, that they have there. Um, but this is a slide. And then I took the swing out, but I included the instructions. Um, and this is a, a swing. So let me show you what they look like put together and I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like. So um, the slide, super cute, really easy to put together. Um, one of the things, is, and, and this is pretty sturdy. One of the things that I would like to have seen is this, a piece, the same piece here across the top to make it just a little bit more sturdy, but this is pretty good. Um, the swing really cute really easy to put together um, one of the things you kind of have to do is um, this is a, gets a little crooked when you put it on so you have to kind of mess around with it but um, here's the real problem it, it isn't very sturdy and when you put the doll inside it's even worse so what I am going to do is just take this bottom piece here and probably have my husband uh, either glue it or maybe put a small, a very small nail or some things that won't crack it um, on a wider base. So when you push the swing, it won't fall over. I tried to do some magnets here. Uh, that didn't work either, but it's adorable. I really like those a lot and um, I will use them as long as I can get them to stand up. So anyway let me show you the other things because this is going to be the outside of the, the daycare and i have um, two high chairs and i put the little stickers on there and to go with the high chairs i have a couple of baby dolls and I believe these were the Chelsea um, babysitter. I, I don't know, I got these at Target a while ago. I don't know, babysitter doll, something like that. But anyway, they go inside the high chair or the swing. Um, and it really does get very unstable once you add the doll. So you can't, you know, if you push it, it will topple over. And this is the babysitter. So he's going to babysit all of the children. And then there are two other twin sisters and they are also at the daycare well, in the babysitter's club. And since they are short staffed and under budget, this poor babysitter is by himself. And the, some of the accessories that came with the 
these dolls, the baby dolls. Um, there's a bottle, and there's a little food tray, and then another bottle. So maybe she's eating. And a little rattle that actually rattles. And this is just a... Um, one of those stem toys. I thought it would look cute uh, on the playground. And I found these at um, Dollar Tree recently. These are really cute. They are Chelsea backpack. It said Barbie Chelsea across, but um, I don't think he's Chelsea. <laughs> and it came with three accessories. Let's see if I can get them out. Like one's a teddy bear. And there were two different kinds. Well, I can't get it out. But anyway, um, there's three accessories and that'll be for him. And also on the playground, we have a couple of pets. So maybe he has to clean poop too. And I thought this would be cute if we use this as the little daycare building. And I believe I have some blocks in here somewhere. Of course he might need a chair. And I gave him a little, well, them, a little frog. Um, do you remember those apparatuses at the park where you used, it was a spring. You used to go back and forth on the spring, I'm riding it. I don't know if they have those anymore. I also gave him a ball, well, her, a ball. And I gave her number and letter erasers, and I found those at Target at the dollar spot there. And there might be a little ride-on truck in the playground. Oh, here's the blocks. I painted those and I just put some stickers on them. Um, you can make a lot of different things with these blocks. There are 36 blocks for in the Dollar Tree for a doll, you know, a doll 25, but you get 36 blocks. And she also has a little doodle pad. She has a Jumbo Fun coloring book. Um, <laughs> it's, I chose it because of the playground, but I added a couple of stickers on there too. God Loves You and XYZ. And a notebook. She also has some coloring pencils. She has a pack of chalk to go with her chalkboard that is all the way at the bottom um, and I chose this PJ mask puzzle because it says it's time to be a hero and honestly anybody who takes care of children all day or is babysitting or is a teacher or even a mom um, you are the heroes <laughs> it's not easy taking care of children Hopefully my camera doesn't fall. I'm going around the wire here. I also gave her a backpack to take all her things home in. And this is the chalkboard. This is actually one of the ones you can stick anywhere. I got these at Walmart, I think for 49 cents or something. And then I also included um, one of these uh, Barbie 
the Playhouse. I kind of like these. Um, you know, one side will be, it just depends on what scene you pick. But for this one, um, one side is the kitchen. And if you see down here, one side is the playground. So all the little pieces can, you know, this little girl can use this as the backdrop. And then all the little pieces can be the playground. Let's see if I can make room here. Well, probably not. And we'll put that there. And I also gave her some accessories. I gave her a silver bow just clipped onto the blue hairband. And I gave her a blue and white heart bow barrette and one more blue and white um, bow and these are barrettes they're not clip-ons and I think the last thing she has in here she has a pair of earrings they're cross earrings and I got I did get these from CVS CVS actually has some pretty nice jewelry and if you have CVS bucks, you can um, yeah, either get them for free or pretty cheap. And I gave her um, a pair of, I mean, a, a bead necklace with a cross on it. Um, these are the ones I got at Ross. And the matching bracelet. And she has two rings that I also gave her. They're just some heart rings. And um, there's some plain band rings. And she has a dog eraser. This is one of the cat erasers. Um, I don't really know what happened to the dog. Oh, here it is. And that's the dog eraser. So that's it. That concludes my five to nine Babysitter's Club box. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I hope everybody has an awesome week and I will see you next time. Let's see if I can give you just a better look here. I probably should have put that together, but. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.